everyone, Mikasa Dragon here, and we are here with episode one, part two of the Dragon's Discussion. So, our video, uh, uh, before we get into that, remember, please, no hate throwing anywhere, no, no just like, straight out no thinking. We are here to think. We are here to discuss stuff. We are here to analyze the situation and try to give good and meaningful feedback. Um, so, that being said, uh, we are continuing the POE discussion. There was a video four days ago, uh, a podcast four days ago. And that will be our video to watch is Chris Wilson interviews with, uh, I can't even, I forget how to pronounce his name, uh, Gassy and Crouchy Tuna, Grimro Pili, I think it's, uh, and they are a bit more focused on the community, on the, what is it, uh, POE Trade League. You know, just a standard one. And I feel like PoE Trade League is somewhat dead, in my opinion. There's still people that play it, but, you know, I tried looking for some items, and it was not really available. So I don't think Trade League is very good. I feel like uh but is it trade league they said trade league or is it just standard is it standard or standard and standard trade what whatever the case i feel like i would say standard is not in a good spot in my opinion right now and then um standard trade league is where things start to get complicated so that being said uh watch this video first and then we can discuss things further in further detail so i'm just gonna adjust some few things and i'll get ready i'm not up to that just yet oh my god that's so annoying i'm so sorry for that let me let me switch that out so you she doesn't yell that in your ear uh because i kind of don't need it um but mainly this is going to be more of the philosophy of poe versus the philosophy of the community uh i feel like we are in we're kind of at odds where i'm gonna say these three players are top players and they're trying to uh trying to you know, talk on behalf of the community and try to, oh my god, I completely forgot about that, trying to, okay, we're going to just do tier one now so I don't have to concentrate, uh, they are trying to talk on the behalf of, you know, the casual player, and I would say the most I would relate to of the three is, uh, Crouching Tuna. Because he he sees more relatability on you know breaking that wall that was so hard. Okay, POE. We're just gonna turn this down. Um, let me get something adjusted again. All right, sorry about that for all the loud noises. I do. Uh, okay, so. POE is in a weird spot where each league comes out every three months, and if you just want to play the league, there, there's two different styles of play you can do with, well more than two, but I'm just going to keep it simple, and because Chris says, you know, the game's built around standard, and uh, 
in the future of Standard is the leagues. So we're gonna mainly focus on yes, uh, just trade leagues and and Standard. I know Hardcore is there, but we're we're at a spot where, you know, like I said, every three months there's a new league, and for casual players, that can slowly, you know, break your will to play a little bit, depending on, you know, how much you're willing to invest and like where where you are. If you're more on the weaker side of a POE player, then I don't see you getting into red tier red tier 14 maps uh, or higher. I don't see you. I would say you're probably stuck with tier between tier five and ten. I know that's where I'm stuck at whenever I try to make a build, if that build is, you know, successful. And there's different degrees of successful. And yeah, as you see, even a tier 1 map still can kill me easily. Um, we as a community, we kind of want the game to be easier but I I don't think that's a good idea because of what POE is supposed to stand for um, POE is supposed to be hard I feel like POE is supposed to be the game where it's a project and the only time it's not a project is when you have wholeheartedly learned how to make a build very very well or and I feel like once you do that you're you're part of the you're part of like the top end players and you're even higher when you can make any build good because that means you know how to scale things how defensive layers work and so it doesn't matter what skill you use, you can make it good. And they bring up a point where they want to, they, they keep trying to like, is this what you want the game to be, Chris Wilson? And I feel like that's the wrong way to look at it. It's more of, this is the direction we see the game going. Is this where you want to be? And I feel like they should, you know, establish what their game is going to be. Is it going to be for dedicated players? Is it going to be that project that you spend months on to get better at? Or is it going to be this, everything's going to be easy because the community wants everyone to participate and everyone gets their, you know, participation trophy. Because if that's the case, I might as well be playing D3, Diablo 3. Um, Do I think they need to fix this? Definitely. I feel like they should put more uh, counterparts into, you know, the skill tree, defensive layers, and damage. So, right now, give me a second, I'll pull this up. Right now, I feel like we're at, uh, let me, 
to make it circle first. This is what I feel like the Elite is right now. Make the font big enough. This one. No, move it. Okay, whatever. This is where I feel like Pee Wee is at. You make a build, glass can. Better players can make. can make this. But at the end, we're still kind of glass cannon. Uh, and that's because... The monsters. I feel like the monsters in PoE, since maps can be so altered and buffed up, and we don't know the numbers for you know, how much a zombie attacks for, or this monster. There's so many things to factor in that this is kind of what PoE has become. It's like, we kind of, well, not only that, but this is what, you know, the speed meta also put into play is be as fast as possible, do as much damage as possible, kill the enemy before you die. And defensive layers that helps but when you're doing the content that these top end players are doing the, uh, the damage the monsters can do is extreme so when you finally do get hit a few times you're, you're basically dead and sometimes it's just one time and you, you, you just get one tap and there's so many defensive layers you can do for your character. But... That still doesn't stop this from, from the monsters just... Killing you straight out. Because the map's that difficult. The monsters, there's a lot of monsters. And it sometimes feels like the... the you know, the magic mobs are stronger than the rares and the unique sometimes. And you'll be like, oh, that was an easy boss. You go outside. Oh, here's a magic mob. Boom, you're dead. Uh, also, there are is... Uh, there... There is... A lot of things going on on your screen. So it's hard to see things. But this is what I think they should do. So, uh, let's see. Oh my god, come on, man. Yeah. Just like, shake one of these. Okay, that's not how I do it. Okay. Oh, maybe, no, no. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good on it. Here, okay, whatever. This is what I feel like can help this uh, issue is to make tanky builds tanky. Make glass cannons glass cannons and then What's the third way? I don't know, kind of... I feel like this is what everyone would go for, is, you know, the, the tanky glass cannon. Or we can do this. And, uh, you know... 
and what entitles to be tanky less damage you're doing less damage to be tanky I feel like this should be like everything in the skill tree right now I feel like uh, I I don't know what they should do about life but like stuff that gives you armor stuff that gives you evasion and stuff that gives you energy shield and block I feel like they should give you less damage they should say they should be buffed so this 20% I feel like should be like 50% but then minus 20% damage or something and that should be spread out all throughout the whole tree and this will because I feel like right now there's no divide there's no divide between these three and it's just, I feel like everything right now. Come on, no. Uh, no. Bad. No, where am I? There we go. I feel like right now everything is within another circle. Go like this. And then we have. Actually, we don't even need that. Do that. Well, undo. What? Do what? I feel like everything is surrounded by being a glass cannon, and then we have, you know. And there's no, there's no divide. So to, so I feel like everything is just kind of crazy. And the crafting, I don't know what we're going to do about the crafting. The crafting is a whole issue by itself. Ever since Harvest released and everyone, you know, optimized how to use Harvest and make the best items. We we see that people don't want to lose their their power, and uh, there's also perceived uh, perceived build uh, build diversity, where if this build can't do X Y Z, then the build sucks, and P O E, and that's that's what the top players are saying. And the and GGG is saying that things are fine right now. And I I'm gonna agree with GGG because just because the top players say oh things aren't where they should be doesn't mean that things aren't where they shouldn't be. And that could be true for you know some skills, but uh, Chris makes a good point where not every skill needs to be top tier level and that's what di build diversity is is like some skills you're gonna have to work a lot harder than other skills there's always gonna be this you know OP skill that's gonna get nerfed one day because you know everyone's using it and to try to force people to, you know, use different builds is not what GGG is wanting to do. They want people to, you know, play their game and, you know, build what they want to build. But with all these uh, YouTube videos and um, build guides, uh, there is an issue where... the, you know, I'm going to say the weaker players 
the more casual player, are they truly learning PoE, or are they just going to YouTube videos, playing what I like to call path of YouTube videos, just copying, just copy, try to copy paste everything that that video is doing to what they are gonna do, and then not actually learning how to be tanky, how to be uh, a glass cannon with some supports and all this. There, There's a lot to learn in POE and I feel like GGG should just say if we don't want to take the time to learn the game, you're either going to have to trade for what you want or you're just going to be weaker than the top players because guess what the top players did? They put in that time, they put in years of work and they they know what to do. They know what's good, what's not good. And when when a new leak comes out and they put out the patch notes, they know how to analyze things, they know how to build up to things and they can, you know, like, oh this is gonna be good, this is gonna be bad. But that takes experience and yes, it is hard to, you know, do all that in, in POE and personally that's what I like about Path of Exile is it's a complicated game. You gotta put in some work. It's not Diablo 3 where you just run around, everything works, and guess what? You're bored. And the top players want to make it easier for the casual players. I feel like what GGG needs to do, and this is my opinion, is make meaningful content. Right now, the acts are kind of... Like, I like Act 1 through 4. I just feel like they're a bit too easy. And I feel like if you introduce, you know, difficulty back into X1 through 10, things would be somewhat better. Because then you have, like, a meaningful experience. Uh, I feel like the drops should be... Uh, should go up in quality because there's not much you'll find. It's extremely rare to find anything on the ground through X1 through 10 that you're going to use for a long time. You either make it yourself or you buy it off someone else. Um, that or you just suffer through the game. <laughs> and Personally, what I want them to do is completely change the axe 5 through 10. But that's going to be done with PoE 2, so we're going to have to wait for that. And I feel like PoE 2 is going to have, since they said, you know, PoE 1 doesn't have the funding that PoE 2 will have. And I do agree because, you know, X 5 through 10 are extremely boring. What the heck is that? Um. I feel like the more meaningful gameplay promotes you to want to play the game in different ways. And this is one example I forgot to say is uh, the top level of players, they don't need to make as many builds because they know how to make their builds conquer most of the content. And having one build to conquer most of the content is a pretty daunting task to do. There's a lot of planning and, you know, building of the build to, to do all that. And so I feel like casual players, to try to get all the content done, they might need to make four or five characters where... Um, you know, top end player, they only need to make one or two. But they want to keep having fun, the top end players, they want to keep having fun making new, interesting builds. So they keep, uh, you know, they keep making new characters. And in the three months that a top level player can do, like, seven builds, 
and give them all to like end game, top, easy, whatever, whatever and kill shaper and stuff. A casual player, I think, will struggle even with a theory. I have yet to kill a theory. Uh, it just takes a different mindset to build that type of character. You really need to know what you're doing, what to prepare for, and yeah, like I said, the community just needs to step up their game a bit, I feel like. I feel like, you know, going back to the graph, I feel like there should be a divide. Not every bill should be a tanky glass cannon that also has supports. I feel like things need to start being divided. If you're going tanky, you know, you're adding on survivability at the cost of your damage. If you're going glass cannon, you're doing super high damage. Let's add that in there. But then you lose. I can't spell. And if you're doing support, well, you know. Your damage shouldn't be that strong. I know there's some in between, but I'm not trying to do all that. And to have, you know, the trifecta of these three. Okay, thank you, thank you. I feel like, you know, the god build, or basically you, your, your tanky, where you take the tankiness, the high damage, and the support, this should be extremely hard to do. Not everyone should be able to do this. And uh, it kind of goes to say that I feel like content creators should be, you know, because it, feel, it feels like from just, you know, watching their video, oh yeah, just these are the items you need. Here's some, uh, here's some sub gear you could swap out for the, if you can't, you know, obtain these gears. And then uh, this is what maps you should do and not to do. And then, uh, yeah, good luck. And sure there's other videos on how to farm certain items but like i said after a while you it just feels like playing path of youtube videos and is poe should not be trying to make everyone happy that's what i feel like i feel like they should be building their game to be a difficult meaningful game And I feel like the drops are pretty piss poor. Sure, once in a million you might be able to find something. But that's once in a million. That's that's super hard to do. That is super, super, super hard to do. And um I feel like we should have recognized not recognize but like it's it's hard to tell you know content creators or you know try to warn people a bit more but you know they're content creators they gotta make their living off of youtube and you know a little bit of clickbait and not caring to say like well i wouldn't say not caring but you know put like a disclaimer this is you still gotta put in work to get this uh, running. This could take you a month or two to get running as a casual player. 
I know there's like early game builds. And it's more about being comfortable of knowing what. And, and that's the thing is, as the player, you should be comfortable knowing when to switch from your early game build. And do you want to make that your end game build, or do you want to make enough currency so you can make your dream end game build? And like, I don't know what my dream build is. Oh my god. Because I kind of like, I'd rather just play multiple characters. I want to see what the game has to offer, what skills I can match match. And I've made, I made, I found an exile, I made some chaos this league. It's not a lot, but, you know, I think I can step up what I can make or improve what I have made with this uh, Ice Blade character, but I haven't learned how to survive in this game. I'm basically a glass cannon with no survivability. Um, I feel like I'm talking too long, and I'm kind of talking in circles. So, so I'll wrap it up saying, GGG just needs to put out a statement. I'm not saying they should do this or they have to do this, but like, I feel like it's a good idea for them to say, you know, our game's a very difficult game if you're not willing to invest time and effort into the game you're not going to get as far. And he kind of says that, but I want like an official statement. Because the casual players, they look at the top end players and their content that they make. Like, I want to do that. And then the top end players kind of want the casual players to catch up and axing GGD to make the game easier. And I don't agree with that either. The game should be meaningful throughout the whole game, not just maps and endgame. The the whole game through all the acts, both POE one and two. So, uh, another thing is like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to keep people interested every three months. So I, I kind of talked about this, but like, you know, always having to go through the campaign, always having to make another new character every three months, and maybe multiple characters. It kind of gets tiring after a while, like sometimes you just want to stick with your character, but then I feel like, you know, regular standard league, it's kind of it gets kind of stale because you got your build and you can just run maps, but no one's really buying things. I feel like I feel like people are buying things, but like people aren't always trying to improve because they are improved. You have small, small pockets of people trying to improve. So. The new league. Oh, he did say maybe they should, you know, every three months introduce an even harder box. And I kind of, I kind of agree with that. I'll probably say maybe every six months do that, not every three. But you know, keeping the in-game content interesting to, you know trying to make new builds, I think that is a good idea. Um, there's a lot of things that uh, that's kind of like up in the air right now. And we, we need to recognize POE has, I would probably say billions of interactions. So it's, it's hard to go, like, you know, they release a league and then while everyone's playing that league, they gotta 
plan for the next leave and to also try to fix everything that's going on in the current league that's a daunting task for a small company like GGG to do so try to give GGG some slack don't be like oh my god did you even test this skill you know sometimes they look over stuff they you know they the, the people that work on the skills they play the game but are they playing it at such a high top end level and like trying to outsmart their own selves and try to burst through the walls of what you know POE is capable of probably not they're trying to see you know if I do this is it good do I do that is it does it feel good is, is it gonna break the game is it you know is there's a lot that GGG needs to be that they need to handle and there's like there's like I'm, I'm just gonna say billions of you know different levels and they gotta worry about the monsters and this and that. there's a lot to worry about so I would say for the community as a community we all need to you know calm down a little bit because I think we influence where the game is going, but we also need to let them make the game. We, we can say, oh, we want this, we want that, but they need to say, we hear you, we're going to add in some of that, but I feel like this is where the game should be, and we'll try to incorporate as much as we can. And uh, one last thing, I feel like GGG should just make the league every four months. I feel like it gives them more time to do stuff. I feel like casual players will feel like they have more time to play the league. And that's why I, like, I'm excited to play a new league in POE. But then the slower I am, the more panic I get because everyone's going so fast I gotta make more currency so I can get my build going and the longer it takes me to do that the longer it takes me to get to a, a nice level to do that I feel like I'm falling too far behind to keep up with everyone um, as a casual player you know. and it just kinda it just doesn't happen to me because you know I'm not, I'm not even level 8, I can't even figure that out. Um, there was one more thing, one more thing, what was it? I just forgot. I forgot, I'm sorry. It, it was a pretty big point in my opinion, but uh, I forgot. So yeah, tell me what you guys think about all of this. If you don't want to just listen to me ramble, I probably should have said that in the beginning, whatever. But you know, thank you if you listen to the whole thing. And uh, leave your thoughts about this. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Discuss what they talked about, discuss what I talked about. Share your thoughts with everyone you know, in a meaningful way, because if we just all yell at the top of our lungs, we need to be working on making the game better for everyone and not just for ourselves, so think as a community, not as an individual. Oh, I think one thing I forgot to talk about is solo play versus like group play for and I know for like right now, no one really wants to play in a group. And people that do play in a group, they're usually friends. And people that play in random groups, you know, after a while, you kind of feel like, oh, you got the exo, oh, you got the exo again. And it's just like, I don't know. I don't know how they would fix that. Because uh, I know so some players are super greedy, and other players are, you know, kind and they'll share. 
hard to fix that. But uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.